Well, back to some more Rangers transfer news. We've got some reaction from potentially Ross McCrory going today with Chris Boyd revealing why Celtic got Brendan Rodgers. And we've also got a potential incoming as Barry Ferguson wants this striker. But let's talk about Chris Boyd first of all, because he says that the main reason of intent by Euro billionaire is due to the fact that it's Rangers, that Chief Celtic Chief Dermot Desmond brought back Brendan Rodgers is because of Rangers. He feels like that Brendan Rodgers must be the safe option and therefore he doesn't want to take any risks. So Chris Boyd loving us, you know, begging us up here, but he's also saying it was a super appointment. So, I mean, kind of a bit of a filler news story, if I'm being honest. But the one I wanted to talk about is a wee bit later on, and that is right now, actually, a wee bit later on. But oh. Barry Ferguson tells Michael Beale to sign 2 million rated Linden Dykes. He'd be an absolute sensation in a Rangers shirt. Barry Ferguson has urged Rangers manager Michael Beale to bring QPR striker Linden Dykes to Ibrox in the summer transfer window. The Gers legend believes the forward would be an absolute sensation for the club and has already made Rangers number nine. Beale's, Beale and Dykes previously worked together at QPR and Ferguson believes the player would be available for a reunion of around 2 million. Before we read any more of the article, I've said Dykes for ages now. I've said, why not bring Dykes in? He, he can hold up the ball. He scored goals. Now, he's not particularly the greatest goal scorer of all time, right? But he can still score a decent bit of goals. So for that reason alone, should he not be at least considered? Um, Lyndon Dykes, I mean, the fact that Beals worked him, he must know that Lyndon Dykes is a good player. I mean, of course he knows. I mean, there's, there's a reason why Dykes starts for Scotland. There is. It's not just he's swung in there because... Steve Clark has a hard on for him. He, that's the reason, because he, he's fucking good, right? And uh, Barry Ferguson does go on to say, the more I watch our national team go from strength to strength under Steve Clark, the more I am certain that Dykes is already made a Rangers number nine. Ferguson wrote for the Daily Record. Put it this way, if I was Michael Beale, I'd be all over the big man right now. <laughs> um, I know there will be some fans rolling their eyes at the thought of it, but I don't care what anyone else says. He'd be an absolute sensation in a Rangers shirt. So yes, if I was Beale... I wouldn't think twice because it would be a no risk signing and Dykes would guarantee him 20 goals a season as well as everything else he would bring for something like 2 million. It's an absolutely no brainer for my team. Interesting option. Would Dykes get 20 goals a season for Rangers though? I feel like I wouldn't guarantee it. Like we, we need people to produce like 20, 30 goals a season, 25 goals a season. But Dykes, he's not that prolific. Here, I'm not saying he couldn't, but it's not like you're signing the guy where it's like, ah, that's a guarantee. That is a guarantee. But to be honest, guys, is there guarantees in life? Maybe not. But we're going to look at some comments after this morning. People are not happy about Ross McCrory uh, potentially leaving. So this is my way of replying to your comments. It's easier to go through them. Um, John Lamy says, the Jack Butlin signing and him being number one isn't set in stone. Um... Michael Stone has said both keepers will be given the opportunity to battle for the top spot. I feel sorry for McCrory. He's never been given a fair chance up until those few games he's got near the end of his season just passed. Hope McCrory stays and battles Botland for the number one spot. You know what? I agree with most of these comments. As Jim Borland says, the boy should be number one and Botland should have fight to take it from him. As the boy waited long enough for his chance, he's never let us down when he's been called upon. But the problem is, he brought in a guy on so high, it's like such high wages that the, it's just not going to work. Would Butland really have accepted this Rangers contract? He could have went to United if he could have potentially been on the bench. Here, he's going to be on the bench at Rangers in this scenario on 40. Nah, I mean, I think I think McCrory's hard done by. It's just the way the way, the way football works, isn't it? Uh, next comment, we need to keep this boy. If we sell him after he's shown the amount of loyalty to our club, it would be nothing less than shocking. I, 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 agree, with, I agree with the whole... I think he should be playing McCrory, but the problem is... You've brought in Butland. I uh, hope McCrory stays for now. His value will only go up. True. Um, I doubt it because Davies has just signed a contract at Everton. But what I read is that Everton released him. So I'm not too sure. I thought he was released. Definitely. Oh, Matthew Miles. God damn it. We just ignore him these days. Uh, David Hutchins says, I think Sefentos could be a player, mate. Not, not need to win the league next season. We must. Aye, exactly. We need. Aye, we, we must. There is no fucking two ways about that. Um, trust his wage demands too much. Probably. Only natural goal scorers jurors have. Yeah. Roof, I think, is a goal scorer, but he's always injured trips. But anyway, that's us done with this video. We'll be back later. Hopefully there's something. I'm going to rank, I think, the 17-18 signings. So, 
That shall be interesting pre-Gerard. Fuck, those days were dark. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.